Hey guys, Jamie with PC Monkey here, uh, bringing you a key repair video again. We got an HP laptop here. It's a 14 AC011TU, uh, but this can apply to any 14 uh, or any 14 AC model computer. Uh, they're all pretty much the same. Uh, so, what you want to do here, um, the reason why we're replacing a key and not the entire keyboard is when you open this thing up and you look under it, there are no screws holding this keyboard in, it's only plastic rivets. So this is a one time only keyboard install. If you wanted to swap out the keyboard and not the palm rest, you'd rip that keyboard out, break all the rivets, and then when you put your keyboard back in, there's no real way to secure it unless you just want to tape it up. Um, so it's not an ideal repair. So that's why when you lose a key or break a key, a lot of us prefer to fix the key and not the keyboard. So you can either go onto eBay or Amazon and find a loose key being sold, <clears throat> or you can buy a, a, a used keyboard, take a key off of it, and replace yours. Uh, so we'll show you right now how to take the key off and then how to put it back on. Uh, we're gonna do a normal size key. If you wanna look at the larger keys, uh, look in the description, there'll be a link down there uh, for that. So we're gonna get a small flathead screwdriver, smaller the better. We're gonna get the screwdriver underneath the key cap, which is this top part but over the retainer clip underneath that you can't see, so it's kind of tricky. Um, but go slow, feel it out here. I'll, I'll zoom in, and then I'll show you what it looked like um, when it comes out. So we'll go after the J key. I'm gonna slide it under the cap, above the retainer clip. Comes off pretty easily. And if you see my screwdriver is holding down this black clip. Uh, so the reason why is because that's very flimsy plastic. If you were to just reach in here and grab that and, and pull it off, you'd bend and break that clip. Uh, so a lot of keys will look generally the same, same layout, this little bouncy rubber thing in, in the middle, don't break that off. It's a real pain to get those back on. Uh, you have to glue them back down. And then your retainer clip, it's a two part clip, they're fitted together. So if it comes apart, don't, don't worry, you, you can get it back together. And then a lot of clips will look like this, two metal pins on the top corners, two metal pins toward the bottom that, that hold it in place. Sometimes keys will only have one metal clip on, on the bottom in the center, but we've got all four. So to get this out safely, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my thumbnail, push up on that clip. Uh, it's really tight, but I'm gonna try to get as much as I can. I'm gonna push up and then gently, slowly try to finesse that clip out from under um, the metal that's holding it down. This is where you'll break it if you do break it. Um, so go slow here, and then when I get it out, I'll show you what it looks like so you can understand a little better what we were trying to do and not do. Ah, get out. Why isn't it coming out? There we go. I have to resist the urge to muscle it out. All right, so let's give you a better look at that clip. Zoom in. All right, so there's the retainer clip. This is where the bottom two metal pins were. And then the top, this is the breakable part where the top two were. See, I'm not sure if you can see it, but if you see these two plastic tabs that come out on either corner, these are ridiculously tiny and weak. Um, these are what fit under those metal pins. So if I didn't finesse that out from under it well enough, those would have just snapped right off. So that's definitely where you're gonna break it um, if you do break it. So now that we got it out safely, show you how to put that thing back in. Uh, so we're gonna go in reverse now. We took it off by getting the top out first. We're gonna put the bottom in first. So set that in there, lay it down. Oops, a little tricky. Yeah, all right. So I laid it down and then I slid it down or I slid it in so that the bottom two metal pins are where they should be and, the, and they're holding it down. So after I get it all centered where it should be, I'm just gonna push on the top two corners uh, to snap those into place. Just like that. Um, little less chance of breaking them there. For some reason it goes in easier than it comes out, which I guess is the idea. And then you take your keycap, set it on, on top, get it centered, and then just press. And that's how you would uh, remove safely and install a key on this computer. And of course that'll go for most uh, most computer models. The uh, keys may look a little different underneath, but they'll all be pretty similar. Uh, if this was helpful, please like and share. Any questions, leave them down below. We'll get back to you at least a couple times a day. Um, and if you enjoy computer repair, do it yourself. Please subscribe. Thank you for watching.